G'day and welcome back to another review video for the first of the year. Um, I've only got a couple of gameplays and I've been rather quiet since December. Um, just family stuff going on. But we're back and today's video we're going into reactive targets. Now I do have a fair few here. Um, Now anybody who's been watching my videos for a while knows that I've got lots and lots of targets. But I've got a couple of new ones. So let's have a quick little look. Um, previous offerings for can which have been out is just being reactive with timers. Um, yeah, pretty well. I busted this one up back in my job all days. Doesn't any better, isn't it? Think. Um, but yeah, basically this one's just great for multiplayer. Freaking, you know, two people can be sitting here shooting, freaking, taking in turns, and just trying to rack up a score or hit certain markers. Each one of these all hits light up, and that's pretty well all there is to that. It's got a nice little stand. Sorry about that. <laughs> um, my daughter just was asking, why am I recording? Uh, but um, yeah, so pretty well basic. Works better once they actually have batteries in it. But as I said, I break that with my gel blasters. Build it up with the gel, which I no longer have because here in Western Australia they're now illegal, which sucks. Bloody toys. Um, this one here is the one I broke on my Swift. Uh, does still work. Yeah. Nice sound effects. And you see it counting. Well, it's really not like that. So, that's that one. Nothing special. It is a Nerf brand. But. Reactive, there you go, that's from 2001. Cool, I've had that for a while. This one here is another fun one. Um, basically, fires little discs up in the air, does fire them in different directions. And yeah, it's got a couple of different modes, so I can have it set so it's just going to fire them all straight up. Um, I should turn it on. I have no idea which mode I've just set it to. But you can see down here in the, this launcher, it's going to fire it that direction, move, fire it that direction, or move in the center, and fire directly straight up. Um, this is definitely more of a outside toy, I think. Um, firing off inside does tend to lead to a fair bit of <laughs> mischief with it bouncing around. It does have a sensor on the bottom. But that's that one. And as are my old targets. These are my two newest. Of course I've got my other targets which use my ranges, but these are all just indoor planking targets. Um I suppose we'll do the nerf first. So, I haven't got to play with either of these yet. I've got no idea if they're any decent. Already, I'm annoyed by the packaging. <laughs> Alright. I'm going to get this one out of the box and I'll be back. 
All right, so quick flip back the box. Nothing special, just three spinning targets and the two sides. So we've got two pictures. Picture one, looks kind of cool. And picture two, which you would have just seen. Um, you really seen a spinner, right? Yeah, see, and that's where I can see them being an issue. Is they're getting don't spin 100% all the way around. So, oh, that worked. Be interesting to see how it's going to take shots. I'll probably do that in another video of just showing off the targets. Just wanted to get a couple of unboxings out. And this next one it doesn't want to come out the box. Now this is an Anko brand. Good old Kmart. Um, so we've got LED lights, flipping around, some of the other one, and reverse sight. Awesome. Not much to review of these besides what's in the box and then giving them a point. Alright. Actual POV, POV. <laughs> oh, you take triple A's, not double. And three of them. All right. All right. That's Anko batteries for the Anko target. Standby Anko with a lot of stuff. Um, my Rapid Darts Blasters, uh, which I did a review way back when, one of my very first videos on YouTube, was Anko Brand. And all these years later, I still stand by them. Alright. So, turn that on. So, we'll turn that on. What's going on? There we go. All right. So we got targets, bullseye, game mode, start button, blah blah. All right. Uh, for the digital site, pick in the target. Give me a sec. I'm just going to read through this, and then I'll give a short explanation. All right. Well, in short, we've got a couple of different game modes. So this is one style game basically going through trying to shoot all the targets out once done so going for the bullseye then another game mode don't know this uh, these parts do need to lock in they can't be loose they actually need to be in place and then you finish off by hitting the bullseye um, so we got this game mode. Nope. Right, game mode A. No. Why have we got an error? There we go. And the countdown's going. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we've got countdown time. Um, 
go to game mode B. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Got a minute to count down to get everything. Let's get a nice little score. And game mode C. Okay, so basically just trying to hit the bullseye as many times within a minute. That's pretty cool. Alright, so there's a 12 second delay in between. There we go. Um, 12 second delay for in between player 1 and player 2. Um, we'll just say player 2. Um, to set it to player two, I've got no idea, it's so confusing. <laughs> okay, so I press these three together twice. No. A, B, C, A, B, C. No. Oh, there we go. Just got to press the. And now it's set to two player. Thank you, Alex. Well, that's pretty well all there is for that besides actually playing a game, which I will do with my partner. But there you have it. My latest two targets one electronically reactive, one just manual spinning crap. <laughs> Uh, would I recommend either at this point probably not nerf um, well, a lot of us do like our spinning targets and yeah, it doesn't look like it's going to break out anytime soon but I also don't see this being the most stable under anything high pressure And ironically enough, I've got all my glasses put away. <laughs> um, there we go. This is just my sons. Painted off himself. Yeah, so high power glasses are just going to smash that over every time. Regardless of distance, um, this one here, hopefully, it's got a little bit more pass through, should be alright. But, there you have it. I actually don't mind that one, looks really cool. So, Nerf, I'll probably give the miss. Anko branding, yeah, it seems pretty fun. And uses triple A's instead of double, so. More batteries for the rest of your blasters. <laughs> Alright, I'll leave it there. I hope you enjoy the video. Blast on and keep an eye out for a couple of target games between me and my other half. Or whatever other team member I can get to come around and have a game. Alright, have a good one. Take care. Blast on.